There is nothing permanent except change. Heraclitus Today, I wanted to talk about the feeling that all your greatest moments are slipping past you too quickly. I've had a lot of great moments lately and it's felt overwhelming seeing them all slip through my fingers. For example, I really enjoy every time I get to visit small town Italy. This week, I've been lucky enough to spend time with my old au pair family and I've been taking in all the joys it's brought me. At 7am today, I was awakened by the sounds of church bells. I rolled out of bed and went to get an espresso at a cafe and on the way home I picked up some focaccia for lunch, letting out a little giggle as I see a group of guys drinking apple spritzes at only 10am. By that time, the bar downstairs was playing Italian classics like Parole and Volare. I look out to see the restaurant terrace in a terracotta orange. Well, this is Italy, I thought to myself. The thing I love about Italy is that the more simple things are done so beautifully, be it a pesto pasta or the cathedrals in the smaller towns. Melon is actually ripe when you eat it, and you can drink coffee at whatever hour. Something I do find funny here is all the little rules and mannerisms that Italians have. Last night, family friends made me an espresso and it was too hot, so I went to grab some frozen yogurt and I came back less than five minutes later. As I re-entered the flat, everyone was staring at me intently and they said, Lucy, please drink the coffee now. They were so serious. Apparently, it's a rule that you have to drink coffee straight away as it's hot. Uh, if you're listening, Italians, I apologize for drinking it cold that night. As over the top a lot of these customs are, I really like it. It gives the country a sense of identity and culture. No wonder Italians are always so proud to be Italian. Anyway, back to the story. That night, we were playing an Italian game, of course, called Briscola. It's so funny because everyone gets worked up and angry, but it's well established that you're only kidding and you love them really. I had a thought during this. This moment is only going to happen once in my life. It's only ever going to be the 25th of June 2022 once. And as of the time writing this, I can't get that day back. Nothing is permanent. Everything you do cannot be replicated as the day is already passed and things can no longer be the same again. It really helps me to live in the moment knowing that if I blink, it's already gone. Even quicker if it's a fonder memory. I've been noticing myself lately blanking out during moments when I'm around people just to think about what's going on and appreciate the moment, usually in the form of a toilet break. <laughs> it's like I want to take a mental photo it's bittersweet not being able to relive moments. On the one hand, you can feel a little nostalgic. And seeing nostalgia is more of a happy thing, knowing that you've lived great moments rather than sad they're over. On the other hand, it's a little sad reminiscing on the things you can't get back, like time and people. Knowing that nothing is permanent can also help you through rough times. You realize that life is a big continuous wave with ups and downs, and that the ups are not permanent, just like the downs. When you're at your worst, you have to see the light at the end of the tunnel and know that good things are destined to come, but be aware that the good times will pass too. So the next time you experience a great moment with friends, take an imaginary picture, or a real one if you like, to remember the beautiful moment, because you can't get it back. And when you're going through rough times, just remember it's not going to last forever. We have to keep moving on in life and leave the past behind us because if we dwell too much on it, we might just miss out on the present. But that doesn't mean you can't take time to look back fondly on all the wonderful things you've done and seen. What's a fond memory of yours you would like to relive?